All right, in this membership income blueprint video, we're going to be talking about promoting your membership site, getting that site out there so people can find it, so you can start collecting members. Promoting your membership sites. Uh, first, we're going to be talking about email list building. This is something that is very, very important for you to be starting no matter what you're doing online. Get started with list building. As you can see over at the right hand side in the picture there, discover how to start from scratch. You've seen all of these before where basically you're being offered something for you to put in your email, your, sometimes your first name, email, uh, whatever it is. But basically, you're giving them your name and email. Uh, in exchange for something for free. Um, this is called list building. Um, it's time for you to get list building. Get your sites put out there. Your best source of traffic. Um, list building is going to be your best source of traffic. These are the people that you're getting on your list. You're building good relationships with them. You're starting to get to know them. They're getting to know you. It's not just somebody that's happened by your site anymore. These people are building relationships with you. You're opening up for two-way communication, getting to really know what they want. Um, and these are the people that are going to be um, best, uh, your best uh, people that are going to be there ready to get onto your into your membership sites. Always get people to join your email list. This is so important. You work so hard to get traffic. Don't let that traffic just show up to your site once and then leave. You need to get them to your site and then get them onto your list. Get them into that uh, AWeber or GetResponse or whatever you're using for your autoresponder. Get them on your list and start building a relationship with them. Uh, we're going to be talking about content synd syndication. Syndicating your content to maximize your traffic. Uh, we're going to be talking about blogging. Pick up some of the most up-to-date blogging tips and more. We're going to be talking about video using multiple techniques to gain massive exposure from videos. Videos are an amazing way to um, get your site out there. Uh, publicity. Learn how to tap into this valuable traffic source. And affiliates. Leverage this top source of traffic for mass traffic. <clears throat> uh, affiliates are probably, and JV partners are going to be, the greatest source of traffic that is going to be able to get exposure to your membership sites. Um, we're also going to be talking about paid traffic. Get instant traffic with paid traffic. All right, content syndication. Content, content syndication is getting your content into as many places online as possible to maximize your exposure. You must maximize your exposure to your membership site. You've got to get it out there into as many places as you possibly can. Exposure to where your audience hangs out is key. Not just anywheres, but you're looking for a specific audience that is going to be targeted to exactly what you have for them. Target exposure to the correct website is the best. More exposure means more traffic. The more that you get it out there, the more traffic that you're going to have. So you need to get this content out there. Getting quality content out there in the right places will boost your credibility. The more content that you get out there, the more content that is found, created by you, or linked back to you, that's going to boost your credibility. And to be an expert out there, to get the best value for your to your site and get the you know to be able to really do this right you've got to have credibility you've got to come across as as the expert to do so the more content that is out there for them to be found linked back to you is going to give you greater exposure you're going to be seen as a more credible expert in the eyes of your of those that are looking for what you have um, basically um, a presentation you're going to do um, article marketing. You're going to do guest blogging, repurposing content for videos, um, such as um, maybe like your presentations, like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, taking those and turning them into videos. So you um, also you can do the same thing with articles. Uh, you can read your articles. You can create, take those articles and you can create PowerPoint presentations and then turn them into videos. Uh, bonus content for download pages. Uh, so basically, you're going to be creating content that you can put on your download pages or the download pages of other JV partners and stuff that are having launches. Uh, they got download pages that they're 
exposing to their members or exposing to their list and you get uh, your content on their download page. Uh, create short PowerPoint presentations or PDF with top content. Always remember those last two words that I just said, top content. You don't want to be just throwing out anything. You want to provide the best content that you possibly can uh, because you want to remember to become very credible. You want to be seen as the expert. You want to be seen as somebody that's giving uh, top content. Um, and if you're going to give out junk, um, what do you think they're going to think about your membership sites? Uh, what do you think they're going to actually think about your paid uh, content? Uh, they're looking for top content. You know, they're going to look at that and go, wow, if it's this good for free, you know, I can't imagine what I'm going to have to pay for. Uh, post this into document sharing sites like slideshare.net, uh, authorstream.com, Google search. Um, you know, you can basically do a Google search for sites like uh, slideshare.net. Um, so basically in parentheses put sites like uh, slideshare net um, and it's going to help you you know come up with some more sites uh, you can also do PowerPoint sharing sites in parentheses and that's going to help find some sharing sites that you can upload PowerPoints to to share sites are always subject to change so remember that just because you get started in something that um, they're subject to change at all times so stay on top of the sites that you're using always get good give good stuff you know and I hate to use the word stuff because um, give the best content that you possibly possibly can try to have 10 slides you know that's a that's pretty good you know for getting these the content out there you know a good rule of thumb is think think to have about 10 slides of really top-notch content include your link but not too obvious maybe at the you know maybe at the beginning so, you know, you're going to want to put your links in in these PowerPoints or whatever. You know, don't make it look like you're just really trying to get them to click on that link, go back and, you know, get on your list or whatever. But, you know, put it in there, um, you know, possibly at the beginning of it. You can do it in the middle or at the end, wherever it really fits good, um, you know, that you feel as you're going through your slides that it really fits in the best. Um, also remember that it's always subject to site rules as well so when you um, a lot of sites don't allow links back for list building or affiliate links uh, so be careful make sure you read the rules because some of them you you know your affiliate links your links are going to be subject to site rules when uploading use keyword search phrases for your niche Make sure that um, because when you're uploading these, you're going to be using um, keywords that you're going to be looking up that go for your niche. That when people are looking for the content within your niche, you're going to want to be using the correct keywords that they're searching for. These sites are optimized well for organic search engine traffic. So you're going to work on your profile page to include consistent information about you and a link. So always use your, you know, create a profile page. Um, any site that has got a profile that allows you to set up a profile page, make sure that you use it. Include consistent information, you know, so you're going to have something all written out. So wherever you go, you know, that profile page is going to be pretty much consistent all the way through on any site. Um, basically, it's going to be information about you and you're going to have a link back so that you can you know back to your site and to your either list building to your membership sites um, wherever you would like that link to be directed to um, you know here's uh you know some of the presentations or whatever you know uh, and the, for maybe your opening slide golf swing online lessons learn to play golf and swing like the pros and again you've got your link back to where you want them directed from this presentation Article marketing and guest blogging. Writing informative articles is still a value, valid traffic source. Article marketing, you know, uh, writing really good articles is huge. Um, it has been. It's going. It's been around for a while. It's still going to. It's going to remain around. You know, a lot of people say article marketing is dead. It is not. Write good informative articles. You know, you don't want just junk out there. Again, it needs to be top-notch quality. Something that people, you know, they, they see the value when they go to that. And they're always going to be looking for more coming from you. Helps pre-sell your customers on your knowledge. Um, when As they start... Uh, you know, reading the articles from you, you know, they're they're looking at you and going, wow, this guy's got some top-notch top notch knowledge and stuff going on. 
I want to stick around. I want to find out what they what they really do know. I want to hear more from them. It builds that credibility that you desperately need in the marketplace. You have got to come across as the credible expert. You know, write four to five hundred word articles. You know, you're not going to want no more than that. Really, no less. Four to five hundred. You know, at the lowest, I'd go three hundred, but I would stick to that four hundred, five hundred word range. Um, top quality articles. They can also be outsourced this on free, to freelancer.com or iwriter.com. So if you don't want to write them yourself, um, you know you can go to either one of these places and get good articles written for a price. Use important keywords in your title of articles. Again, you've got to use the keywords that are within your niche that people are going to be searching for. So within these articles and stuff, you want to have the keywords that people are going to be searching for. Include a link to your lead page in the resource box. You always want to take them back to your lead page, your squeeze page, whatever you want to call it, to be able to list build from them and direct them back to where you want them to go. Never just leave them reading your article and leaving with no place to go. Pre-sell your offer in this area as well. Don't use article marketing for SEO and search engine rankings. Find top article directories to submit to. Um, one of the best ones is probably Ezine Articles. They're very strict with the content, but it's an excellent place. Um, when you get your articles approved in you know, Ezine Articles, it's probably one of the top article directories out there. Uh, Google search top article directories in parentheses, and you'll come up with many more directories that you can use. Um, you can also Google search your niche and submit article. Uh, you can also Google search your niche and guest blog. Google search your niche and submit content. All of these things are going to be able to um, help you find places that you can be able to submit your articles and your guest blogging content. Uh, you can also Google search your niche and write for us, for people that are looking for people to come and write for them. Um, here's some, uh, you know, Different examples here where you can submit your high quality original articles for more exposure, credibility, traffic back to your website. This is easy in articles um, that you can go out there. You know, you can also do a Google search for weight loss right for us. So you're looking if you're in the weight loss, you're looking for um, maybe a guest to write guest posts on a blog somewhere or to write some articles for them to get you exposure. Just write, you know, type in the parentheses, write for us. In, in the niche that you're looking in, it'll take you to different sites and stuff that are going to help you find places that you can write for people to give them good content and get that uh, link uh, back to your sites. Repurposing content for videos. This is an awesome way to take the content that you already have and repurpose it. Turn your article or presentation content into videos. So let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation like you're looking at now. Uh, basically, you take that content. You can you know you can use it for several different things, but you can take it and repurpose it for video trainings. Uh, you can create presentations uh, to write to uh, turn into videos. Also, you can take your articles or you know you can even take uh, some ebooks or something like that you know in different portions of that and turn it into uh, videos you know basically where you just set it up you read it you can take an ebook and you can create a powerpoint um, so maybe you already got the content in an ebook you can create um, several different powerpoints or whatever and turn them into videos reuse the content and record a video use a screen capture tool such as Camtasia, and that's what we're using to record this with right now. Um, you know, it's basically got a higher entry price, but the best quality out there, as in, as far as I'm concerned. You can use Jing, which is a free, and they have a free and a paid version. Uh, Screencast Omatic, it's got a free and a paid version as well. Uh, Google search, uh, Google search screen capture software and you'll find other software uh, products out there that are available for you to use as screen capture tools. Record with a USB headset. Um, Logitech, that's exactly what I'm using right now. It's just basically like a $39 headset with a USB, you know, to plug it into your computer. You can get it at Walmart um, for like $39. Uh, Built-in laptop microphone also works in a pinch if you need to. 
Upload your video content to YouTube using the keywords. And remember, um, again, use the keywords that people are going to be searching for in your niche. That's going to take some studying on your part to figure out those keywords. Um, but then use them so it's directing people back to your content. Write an informative description with a link back to your site. Um, so when when you're on YouTube or wherever you're putting them up at, um, make sure that you write a very good dis informative description and always include a link back to your site. That's very, very important that you never just leave them dead at your content. You want them to go back to your site at all times. Uh, so basically here's you know here's one where they you know took a presentation or whatever and turned it into a video and stuff out there in the weight loss tips um, you can also use your content for bonus you know for bonus for download pages you can create high quality video trainings or PDF reports to use as bonuses again you can use the you know your PowerPoint presentations create good video trainings uh, you can do PDF reports to use as bonuses and you add these to your download pages or you get JV partners that have launches and you add these to their download pages. Contact product vendors and potential affiliates in your niche about including these bonuses on their download pages. A lot of them are looking for different things to add to that, to add more value to their subscribers, to add more value to their buyers or whatever. So a lot of people you know, will include them. Don't think that... Um, that they won't because there are many many partners out there they don't want to you know basically do the content themselves so they'll look for different people that have good content uh, to put on their download pages and again you've got a link back to it a lot of times you can send them to a squeeze page to be able to get on your list set up a squeeze page to deliver this free content so basically you're offering it for free you're saying you know JV partner I set up a squeeze page I'd like to put the link on there you know you maybe put a banner or whatever on on their download page so when somebody clicks on it, they're directed to your squeeze page for the free content that you're offering on the download page and they get on your list. You build a list of, of quality subscribers and help give them more content. You can promote to this list down the road. So once you start list building, again, these are the people that are going to start connecting with you. You're going to start building a relationship. They're going to be more apt to get into your membership sites. It's an excellent evergreen source of content. Um, always, 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 you know, the content that you put out there, make sure it's evergreen so that the um, your JV partners do not have to take it down, you know, later or whatever, so that you want it to always be there. Uh, something that they can say, hey, I can just put this on my download page and leave it. Make it some of your best training to attract JV partners and customers. Um, you know, not only do you, you're looking to attract customers, but you need to attract JV partners. Show them that you're providing them some of the top quality trainings that you have out there to be able to give to their customers um, because they're looking to please their customers. They're not wanting to get them on their customer list and then provide them with some junk from somebody else because it's going to reflect on them as well. So make sure that you're giving them your best trainings that you possibly have um, to put on their download pages. Bonus content for download pages. So basically, this is what it's, um, it's going to look like. So basically, you you know, let's say you were offering this, you know, this uh, these video trainings right here. It's going to be your good content. They're going to this will be showing up on the download page. They'll be able to put in their email and get the free training, and then they are on your list. Blogging for traffic. Creating a blog is an excellent way to become an authority. People come to your blogs and they keep coming back time and time and time again if you're giving good content. And that's what your goal is, is to provide the best content no matter what you do as to be able to come across as the authority in your niche. Use SEO-friendly WordPress platform. I strongly recommend using WordPress. Um, it's very SEO-friendly. Um, it's one of the best platforms out there. I uh, use free Yoast SEO plugin. Um, be consistent with your content. Um, don't just go all over the board. Be consistent in the content. Not only, you know, make sure that you're staying within your niche. Make sure that you're always providing good content. You know, you don't want to go along providing really good content and then throw in some junk here and there just to get content up there. Make sure that you're very consistent with what you're doing at all times. Have variety like videos on your blogs. Um, guest bloggers coming on to provide you content. 
product reviews. So, you know, that, that's always a great way, especially if you're into affiliate marketing, um, to be able to do product reviews and you have uh, links to affiliate products. Case studies, uh, content posts, you know, where it's just basically a post just full of good content. Top 10 lists. So maybe you've got the top 10 ways to lose weight in your stomach or whatever. How, whatever, whatever that top 10 list is, you know, you can provide as really good source of content for your blogs. Using images like infographics, um, you know, you can repurpose from your articles. Curate content for, uh, from other popular sources. And you can also use opt-in forms on your blog sidebar. So on usually over on the right side um, a lot of times you go to people's blogs and you'll see that they're giving away something and basically they got you know just put in your name and email always have a place to list build in whatever you are doing have clear call to action to get subscribers you always want to make sure that you give them a clear call to action you know enter your first name and email and click the submit button or whatever your button says on there but have a very clear call to action even though in your mind you might think it's really clear make sure that you are telling that person that is on your site exactly what you want them to do promote your membership in the navigation bar of your site you know maybe by a banner or whatever this is a way to get that membership site in front of them they've been showing up to your blog they're coming back time and time again one of these times they're just going to look over there and they're going to click on that they're going to be directed to your your sales page or whatever it is for your membership site use keywords in your blog posts and your content again use the best keywords for your niche create blog engagement with comments um, you want to get your readers engaged in uh, putting comments and stuff in there. Uh, you really want to show that you've got, a, you know, that you have a good interaction with the people that are showing up. Use a clean looking theme. Don't make it so busy and so full of banners and everything else that it just drives people crazy. Um, use a nice, clean, simple looking theme. Uh, Google search free professional WordPress themes and you'll come up with many uh, WordPress themes that you can use out there. Uh, don't get stuck on finding the perfect theme. Um, you know, you, when you get you get wor your WordPress set, uh, site set up or whatever, it comes with some standard themes already in there, and many of these are really good ones to be able to use. Video marketing. Video is huge for traffic. People love to look for videos. Uh, Google loves videos. More than just repurposing your content, leverage your channel. YouTube is by far one of the busiest sites online. You want to be using YouTube. You want to be getting that um, those videos out there on YouTube. Get as many as you possibly can and get them linked back to your sites, um, whether it's to your blog, wherever it is that you're trying to get them back to, so that they can find that you know those links and those the direction back to your membership sites. Oftentimes, over 6 billion videos are watched each day. Video is huge. You have got to understand it. If you are not using videos, you are missing out. Create videos using PowerPoints, like we're using here, webcams, webcams and, um, or digital cameras from phones even. Um, you can use like your iPhones or your smartphones, whatever that's, you know, if they got a way to create video, uh, you can use it. Connect with your audience and be genuine. You want to come across as being genuine. You want to come across as being the go-to person. Somebody that they will know, like, and trust. Be seen and heard. You've got to get your voice out there. You've got to get you out there. Um, you want to come across as the expert. Don't sit back and be silent. You have got to be seen and be heard. Use Google Hangouts to create short notice events or planned training. Google Hangouts is an amazing tool for you to use. Um, you know that you can do planned trainings or even short notice events or whatever. Um, Google Hangouts. I really highly suggest that you go check into it and uh, figure out how to use Google Hangouts. Um, this training is automatically loaded up to YouTube. So anytime you have trainings or whatever on Google Hangouts, it's automatically loaded up to YouTube. Use links back to your websites or membership sites as you always need to do. Use keywords at all time and informative descriptions. Always have good descriptions and always use the best keywords for your niche. Publicity. Sometimes referred to as public relations. Um, this is a key traffic method. Find ways you can get involved locally in your niche. Um, so you're always going to be looking for different ways that you can create publicity in your niche. 
If you're a golf trainer, help local kids with a free golf clinic. If you're a weight loss expert or fitness expert, give a free class on dieting. If you're a computer expert, give a free computer class to a group of people. Promote your free event through your local media as well. Use meetup.com to create groups around your topic and promote those. Um, meetup.com is something I suggest you look into um, to create groups around the topic and promote it. Write and submit press releases online. Announce your new membership site via press releases. A lot of people, again, think presses, press releases are dead. They are not. I highly recommend that you write press releases um, you know, to basically be promoting your membership sites. Announce events that you are helping with. Uh, you can use it, um, press releases to uh, promote your, you know, certain promotions that you have going on. Um, you know, s things like a free iPad giveaway or free memberships. Uh, so if you've got a membership site that has got a free membership, you can write a press release basically saying, hey, you know, to have them check out your free membership that you got. Announce live trainings that you have with upcoming Google Hangouts. Google search, uh, submit press release free, and you will find any, you know, several different places where you can submit free press releases. Uh, you can also Google search press release distribution in quotations. Um, a good paid source is prunderground.com. Um, if you're looking for paid sources, that's a good place where you can pay to have your press releases submitted. Uh, use press release sites um, for examples. Affiliate driven traffic is your best source of traffic. Let me say that one more time. Affiliate or JV partner driven traffic is your best source of traffic. These people have a list that they have created a relationship with that knows, likes, and trusts them. And when they recommend something, this is going to be your best source of traffic very targeted and can arrive in bunches you don't you know you're not just going to go out and look for any old jv partner out there just because they're you know they do affiliate marketing or whatever you're these you're going to be looking for people that are in your niche very targeted um, and when you find very targeted jv partners or affiliates these guys are capable of giving you massive traffic to your membership sites fastest way to generate traffic i'm let me, i'm just going to say it again fastest way to generate traffic they can send you thousands and thousands of clicks hits uh, you know with just a couple emails being sent out uh, there's no upfront cost um, basically you know you find a JV partner you're not you're not paying them uh, basically that's going to become from you know how whatever kind of people they send you the leads you know through your affiliate marketing you know they're going to be have affiliate links different things that's where they get paid you own uh, you only pay on performance. So whatever traffic they send you, you know, whatever kind of sales they they make through their list, that's when they get paid. They get paid on performance. Affiliates get a percentage of each sale made. So let's say you got your membership site out there. Um, a lot of times you will give them uh, maybe 30% of the monthly cost or whatever for them to promote. Um, you say, why would I want to do that? Uh, why wouldn't you want to do that? Um, you've got a thousand, you know, hundreds of affiliates out there that are promoting your membership site that's traffic that you never have give them a portion of that to keep them helping you keep them sending traffic to your membership sites membership sites offer residual income possibilities which appeal to affiliates so basically you're telling them if you promote my membership site you're going to maybe get 30 percent 50 percent whatever you're offering them as a commission but you, not only they're going to get it one time but you're going to offer it to them you know each and every month when however long that that person stays in your membership site that's how long they're going to get paid every single month Consider 25 to 50 percent commissions for digital product memberships. Um, that's pretty much where it is. A lot of them are 30 percent. Um, you know, higher ones sometimes. If it's only like if it's just you and you're splitting it with your affiliate, uh, 50 percent. Sometimes you have two or three partners. You might want to consider a little bit lower. Um, but make sure that you're giving them a good commission. Maybe 5 percent to 20 percent for a physical products. You know, depending on the margins. You know, different price points that you have. Clickbank.com is a great place to run your affiliate program. They take reoccurring commissions. Um, you know, they really 
they, they basically take care of everything that you need. You just get it set up. You get it promoting. Your affiliates come. They trust ClickBank. They know that they're going to get paid. Um, it's just a great place to be running affiliate programs. Pays your affiliates automatically. Tracks your sales. It handles taxes and lists you in their directory. Um, I highly recommend ClickBank. Uh, some membership site software have affiliate programs already built in them um, that you can use. Um, so, but... You know, if not, I really, if as long as it integrates with ClickBank, that is probably one of the best ones that you could possibly use. Paid traffic. Paid traffic is another quick way to get traffic. You should try and send paid traffic to your squeeze page if possible. If you can afford it, um, I would give it a try um, and make sure, you know, that you're not missing out on, you know, on a lot of traffic and stuff. If it's not for you, you know, don't worry about it. Concentrate on some of these other ones we've been talking about but it's a good source of traffic. Um, so here are some of the common paid traffic sources, you know, like Google AdWords, Bing ads, Facebook ads, and solo ads. You know, so basically, these are probably some of the best um, paid traffic sources that are out there. Uh, solo ads is basically where you're having, you know, like a some other partner sending out, you know, for you, you know, maybe they're sending out an email or something like that that has a link back to your squeeze page. Uh, targeted banner ads uh, they work best on relevant websites you know you want to put really targeted banner ads and stuff basically what it comes down to is you need to publicize your content get for you to get traffic um, it's very important without the traffic I've said it over and over again without traffic your membership sites are going to base, basically be sitting there dead in the water